walk you through the, uh, the S240 real-time spectrum analyzer. We have a soft panel here, and actually we, we, we did a lot of cleanup of the buttons, and we made sure that uh, the button are really good representatives of the functions they they, they, they supposed to do. Also, we added at the beginning here uh, at, the, at the top of the buttons uh, two important buttons, which is, hey, user, do you want to do continuous capture or do some like single capture and stop, 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 uh, or continuous capture. Then the other buttons, like the traces, using this soft panel, you can select which functions you want to use. So we have six different um, traces with four types of um, of the traces, so you can use okay. Uh, this is the clear right. We can assign another trace using okay. This is the max hold. A third one, which is the min hold. A fourth one, which is the average one. And we can see all of them here if we uh, reduce the reference level. So you have three types of traces. The trace average, the number of averages, or the number of frames you want to do the averages is right here. Then the markers, actually, we 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 did a lot of simplifying and, and cleaning up of the markers. Uh, we grouped them all in just one panel. We have 12 uh, types of markers. You can assign uh, any marker to whatever the trace is running. So let's say this for the trace number one, marker number two, uh, we'll assign it for the save trace number two or number four, uh, whatever you like. Also, we can assign the marker you want this to be the peak or the continuous peak or next peak, next peak left, next peak right. Um, we have the peak threshold running now, so you can, um, uh, it can let the user determine uh, the peaks above a certain, certain threshold. Uh, we did have the marker table before as, um, as we had it, and we have the feature of saving the marker table here. So uh, I'll move to the uh, measurements. We provide a couple of automatic measurements in the, in the, uh, in the S240. We had the channel power uh, in the RTSC V3. Uh, we included the, the occupied bandwidth. So uh, you, the user can assign, okay, how, what's the percentage power he wants to use, so it determines the occupied bandwidth based on this power, which uh, which is actually uh, a measurement that it's highly demanded by many of the users. Then we have the system uh, panel. It doesn't change. Uh, we have the decimation as it was, but the fine tune it's uh, uh, I'd say fixed um, better than improved, uh, and the fine tune is a very important setting or a feature for an, when doing decimation or uh, signal demodulation or stuff like this. So it, it acts as, uh, as a center frequency or carrier frequency offset correction uh, manually.